I'm obviously late in talking about this, uh, but given the current state of American politics, we typically don't see a lot of progressive victories, so I couldn't miss it even though I'm late. So obviously by now, you all know that President Obama has commuted the majority of Chelsea Manning's sentence, and this was a huge victory. Like, I can't, I can't explain how good of a thing this is and how big of a win this is for progressives. So according to the New York Times, President Obama on Tuesday commuted all but four months of the remaining prison sentence of Chelsea Manning, the Army intelligence analyst convicted of a 2010 leak that revealed American military and diplomatic activities across the world, disrupted Mr. Obama's administration, and brought global prominence to WikiLeaks, the recipient of those disclosures. The decision by Mr. Obama rescued Ms. Manning, who twice tried to kill herself last Last year from an uncertain future as a transgender woman incarcerated at the men's military prison at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. She has been jailed for nearly seven years and her 35-year sentence was by far the longest punishment ever imposed in the United States for a leak conviction. Now if it weren't for Chelsea Manning, we don't know whether or not WikiLeaks would have the prominence that it has today. So she put them on the map for one. Uh, and second of all, even though they said it really nicely there that she exposed the activity of the American military, what she exposed were war crimes that our military was committing. Roger. Uh, break. Crazy Horse 1, uh, a request permission to uh, engage. Okay, I'm picking up the wounded. Yeah, we're trying to get permission to engage. Come on, let us shoot. You know, for her to be released, uh, it, it's the right thing because she's a whistleblower, and it's also a good thing because this literally saved her life. This is what her lawyer actually believes. And the 35-year sentence was particularly egregious, and and she has served uh, nearly seven years, already longer than than anyone in United States history for uh, for leaking public document for leaking documents to the uh, press and the public interest. And so, um, you know, we'll ne we we likely will never know the the reasons for for Obama's actions, but I think it was probably a combination of those things, and I truly. We do believe that uh, this has saved her life. So now to summarize what she did, Miss Manning was still known as Bradley Manning when she deployed with her unit to Iraq in late 2009. There, she worked as a low-level intelligence analyst, helping her unit assess insurgent activity in the area it was patrolling, a role that gave her access to a classified computer network. She copied hundreds of thousands of military incident logs from the Afghanistan and Iraq wars, which among other things exposed abuses of detainees by Iraqi military officers working with American forces and showed that civilian deaths in the Iraq war were probably much higher than official estimates. The files she copied also included about 250,000 diplomatic cables from American embassies showing sensitive deals and conversations and documents detailing intelligence assessments of Guantanamo detainees held without trial and a video of an American helicopter attack in Baghdad in which two Reuters journalists were killed among others. She decided to make all these files public as she wrote at the time in the hope that they would incite worldwide discussion, debates, and reforms. WikiLeaks disclosed them, working with traditional news organizations including the New York Times, bringing notoriety to the group and its founder, Julian Assange. The disclosures set off a frantic scramble as Obama administration officials sought to minimize any potential harm, including getting to safety some foreigners in, danger in dangerous countries who were identified as having helped American troops or diplomats. Prosecutors, however, presented no evidence that anyone had been killed because of the leaks. Prosecutors said that because the secret material was made available for publication on the internet, anyone, including Al-Qaeda, could read it, and they accused Miss Manning of treason, charging her with multiple counts under the Espionage Act, as well as with aiding the enemy, a potential capital offense, although they said they would not seek her execution. Miss Manning confessed and pleaded guilty to a lesser version of those charges without any deal to cap her sentence, but prosecutors pressed forward with the trial and won convictions on the more serious versions of those charges. A military judge acquitted her of aiding the enemy. Now, I really want to stress just how unfair this whole situation was and how unfair the American government was to Chelsea Manning because her lawyers correctly characterized the verdict as, quote, perhaps the most unjust sentence in the history of the military justice system. And this is due to a number of reasons, not just the verdict, but how she was treated. So this is according to WikiLeaks, no whistleblower has ever been punished this harshly. 
and Manning, quote, waited in prison for three years for a trial. That's 986 days longer than the legal maximum. And she was also subject to deplorable conditions, was denied her glasses, denied sleep, blankets, and clothes, and was prevented from exercising. So effectively, she was tortured. Now, additionally, key portions of the trial were to be conducted in secrecy. So 24 prosecution witnesses gave secret testimonies in closed sessions, permitting the judge to claim that secret evidence justifies her decision. And furthermore, this leak did not endanger the lives of Americans as it was widely believed to be the case. So Bradley Manning, now known as Chelsea Manning, this is someone who's a hero. This is someone who's a whistleblower. And President Obama said that he would protect whistleblowers. But the fact that he allowed this to go on for so long is egregious. And it shows that he lied to us. Now, I'm thankful to President Obama that he did choose to pardon Chelsea Manning. But I feel as though she should be reimbursed for the time that she spent. Like, she should be rewarded compensation for how she was treated. We tortured an American citizen. We tortured a whistleblower. If you deprive someone of sleep, if you don't give them their glasses, if you don't allow them to exercise, is that not cruel and unusual punishment? Like, if that isn't, then I don't know what is. So if our government is not transparent, sometimes it takes the acts of courageous individuals like Chelsea Manning to let us know exactly what they're doing. And sometimes they're committing war crimes uh, and we need to know about it and find out about it. But I just wanted to really inform people about the Chelsea Manning case and why it's so important that her sentence was commuted because she's a hero. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.